Hi, my name is Diane Schuster, and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrate the capabilities of CozyRock's SSIS Plus, which is a software suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. These demonstrations were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2005. The CozyRock tasks and components are available for SQL Server Integration Services 2005, 2008, 2008 R2 and 2012 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a package using the zip task to add a file to an existing archive. This task comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. The steps I'm going to set up in this package are described for you on the Cozy Rock website in the zip task documentation. So we drag our zip task onto our canvas and we're going to use it this time to decompress and decrypt an archive file containing eight Excel files. And so we're going to choose an action of decompress. And of course the compression type we're using is zip and we type in our password for the decryption. And now we'll go set up our source connection manager and that will be an existing file. And here's our file called compressedfile.zip which contains our eight compressed Excel files. And now we'll set up our target connection manager. And this will be into an existing folder. And it's named unzip target. And now we're done setting up this task. And so we're going to just execute this task by itself so you can see results, the results of just this part. And we'll go take a look at our unzip target folder and there's all the files that we just decompressed and decrypted. And our next step is going to be to copy over the file that we want to add to the archive to this folder. So I'll show you where that file is right now. It's over here in a separate folder called File to Add. So we're going to use the File System task now. That comes with SSIS out of the box. And we'll change the name to Copy New File to Unzip Target. And we'll go into configure it. And our destination again is that unzip target folder that already exists, or we already have a connection manager for it. And now we go down to the source connection manager and we need to uh, set that up. So we'll say new connection and it'll be an existing file. It's in the file to add folder, and there's that file. Okay, and that's all there is to that. Now we'll execute just this task, and I'll show you the results of that step. So here's our end zip target, and you can see we have the add file.xlsx in there now. And now our final step is to use the zip task again and now we're going to create an archive that includes the eight original files that were in the compressed file archive as well as the file that we copied over and are adding to the archive. So we change the name to include new file in archive and we'll go and configure it and this time we are going to compress we're going to use zip 
and we'll do normal level of compression and we'll type in our password and then again we'll choose the AES-256, the highest level of encryption. And for the source we now want to compress and encrypt the nine files that are in the unzip target folder. So we say existing file and we go to that folder and there you can see all nine files and we can only select one file and we're going to have to go in and edit the properties and we're going to have to put wildcards on either side of the word file so that we pick up that new file named add file. And we're going to change remove source to true so that we leave a clean folder there that we used for our intermediate step so that nobody has to go back and delete those files. For our target, we're going to have to set up a new connection manager even though we're overwriting the file, compressed file, that already existed. Uh, this only works when you're compressing if you say create file here. So we'll go find that file, which is in the zip target folder. And now we're done setting up that task. Now we need to go in and edit that the properties of that connection manager we just set up. And I want to point out that if we weren't executing these tasks um, one by one, these, these files would not be sitting in this folder for us to choose one. So we would have had to choose a file in another folder and then just go in and edit uh, more than just the file name. We would have also had to edit the folder. And now we'll execute this task. Now we'll look at the unzipped target folder. And as you can see, we cleaned up all the files that we had unzipped there. And then we'll take a look at our compressed file.zip file, and it now contains nine files. In this demonstration, I showed you how easy it is to add a file to an existing archive using Cozy Rock's zip task. This task comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. And that concludes this demo.